Welcome back to episode 24 uh, of uh, My Station A's playthrough. So, um, last time we were working heavily on the alert system, um, and we're going to continue largely in that vein today. Um, so, we're going to start... That is connected, I just thought I'd notice it wasn't connected. Um, we're going to start um, by um, sorting out our critically low battery. Um, that seems like a pretty smart thing to start with. Um, but also, whilst we're out here... Um, hmm, okay, we're really starting to get quite a lot of mess in here. Um, I know a couple of you have mentioned in the comments, it is one of my jobs to do, to uh, improve that greenhouse. And actually what I'm going to do when I do that is I'm going to move it out to a larger site or expand the site here because obviously this was the original building and it was quite space constrained. Um, and the fundamental problem we've got here in terms of making it work any better is this amount of space down the side here. Um, that whilst there's room for the uh, the pair of sorters um, to uh, to set up this arrangement and uh, feed the food out there um, it's, it's not really adequate and what's happening is actually some of this stuff's clipping through um, the shoot network I think now or being dropped out and stacking up so um, it basically comes down to the fact there is not enough room to put in place proper storage what it really needs is a vending machine and there is a buffer so we will do that probably not this episode because we've got a few other things to finish first so um, try and finish one thing at a time Okay, let's do the battery quickly actually on the way out. So that's on 6%. Um, that's good. Right, okay. So, I'm going to make some more um, logic IO chips because we're going to want to put some more logic mirrors in. Um, and I'm also going to do some more doors because we need more covers. So one of the things that we definitely need to do down there, oh, that needs copper, is um, we need to uh, put in place a proper place to bond the network. So last time I put in a logic mirror between um, the uh, red um, internal hab network um, and the purple data network for one device. But actually, if we're going to have several devices, it, we don't really want to just have them underneath the floor like that. We would probably want a proper area. That's going to need a few chips, which really I'd like to put behind roller covers because it's a lot neater. Um, so in that vein, we're definitely going to need more chips. Um, probably going to need more wire, let's be honest. Uh, how much copper's in there? Uh, 40, okay. Um, we're going to need chips, we're going to need wires, we're going to need roller covers. So that's the plan. Um, and I'm also, I'll throw that inside, I suspect those will be useful somewhere. Um, the other thing um, that I'm hoping to get to is to now integrate um, the battery monitor, the um, the gas sensors obviously already in place, um, and the uh, storm warning all into the full alert system. Um, and bear in mind we've also got purple data network now coming outside over here to drive this. Um, I may also see if I can set up a um, wall for some, some further sensors, but um, that's quite a few things to do. I don't know if we'll get through all of that in one go. Um, what we will need is some more ICs, because um, we're going to need to build quite a few chips. So let's throw that inside. Let's uh, see how we get on with these doors. Five. We've, have we run out of something? What have we run out of? We've run out of iron. Okay, well, we can get more iron. That's easy. Okay, that's seven anyway. That's, um, that's a decent start, isn't it? These are the sorts of things that uh, I suspect we almost can't have too many of. Um, let's get that going. Oh, well, we've got no solder. Right, okay. Whoops. Just throw them in. Right, okay, well. While I make some more solder, let's get some cable made here, because we're going to need a ton of cable. Um, and we'll take some... Probably ought to colour those buttons. Some lead. And some iron. I know arguably lead should probably be the one that's black, but... Hello. 
No, it works because we've used it before. There we go. Okay, let's go make some solder. over here, have we got that? Uh, there's no coal left in there, I thought those batteries were looking a bit low we need another alert around no coal for the uh, backup generator as well anyway in the meantime luckily we've got some in here by some I mean tons um, right that's all I've got space for in my uh, hands and pockets let's get this thrown in before we run out of power, that is really getting quite low I do need to sort out the power system as well, longer term, we shouldn't have to keep running on solid fuel. Oh yeah, I forgot I put a human skull in there. Right, okay, we also need to turn on the fuel mixer. So again, these are all improvements that we can get to. I want to build a um, pre-buffered fuel tank so that we can mix in there without fear of bursting the pipes, which is one of the reasons I turn this off. Um, we've actually got reasonably low hydrogen supplies actually. Although, as always, plenty of oxygen, so that's good. Um, we'll build a hydrogen farm at some point um, as well, but uh, for now, well, we may as well just let that run and actually turn any that we have got into fuel. Um, right, so that's, uh, that's ready to go. In fact, so let's uh, oops, turn it back off again. Go, fling that in there, fling that in there, grab some more copper because we know we've just used it all. Okay, and then I see housing, we've got everything we need for that as well. Yep, good. that. What I could do is put some iron in and get some more doors going, couldn't I? Um, do we need ten more? I'm going to make ten more anyway. I think we'll use them. I know there's seven I've just put in, but um, I think we will use them. There's quite a lot to do and I want to try to um, get as many of these bits of circuitry as possible behind panels just for tidiness. We haven't really started a lot of the internal doing anything which I'd describe as decorative um, and that's partly because I think this top side piece here is likely to get some remodeling um, once we get the, uh, the main bit opened up downstairs. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I mean it's just kind of also, whoops, stuck between the machines there. Um, uh, also at least in part um, it's just a question of priorities, really. Um, right, if that's up to five, come on then. I'll wait for that one to pop out. What's that? A watched pot never boils. Come on, go faster. There we go. Um, okay, how many of these have we got in here? Three. I'm going to make this the last one. Um, and actually, then I'm going to go and make the chips to go in. I don't know how many ICs we're going to need in total. Um, it's probably going to be tons, but we're almost out of steel in this one actually, I've just realised. steel actually as well. Um, I didn't think I left any in here as a backup. We used it all. 
Yeah, we did. Okay, that's fine. Well, there's a coal, so if I just order up some... It's still pretty hot, actually. It's still very hot. I just want to take advantage of that. One, one slightly too early. There we go. Right. Okay. Let's get some more steel. Okay. I don't know whether it's gonna we get lucky with this. The changes to. Uh, the way fire works potentially may alter some of the settings we need on the furnace. Oh, look at that, straight out. Not happy with that. Um, um, hello, that should have turned off. Filter low. Thank you. I think I'm just gonna turn that off as well. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Hoping it was some sort of weird problem with reloading. Oops. Right, which filter is that? Okay, well that's okay, we'll uh, we'll fling that in. Still got two more. Guess we could have that output now, couldn't we? Oh, that was all that was in it. That's not very exciting. Right. What have we run out of now? Electrum. Oh my goodness. Right, I really should have been. Uh, uh, so, silver. Gold. We have the actual silver as well, please. That'd be amazing. Okay. It's deep depressurized because I reset the system, so uh, I'll have to turn that one back on. And one, two, three. Okay, I think it's running the empty cycle. Yes, it is. That's fine. Right, one thing we are going to need to think about is uh, given the level of hydrogen, we need some more volatiles. I'm just trying to see whether we're any near to base. Um, I don't really want to get distracted by going off on a long mining track. I need to do something with this um, ice storage as well at some point to um, probably branch much further back up here. The uh, ice and send it down an express channel straight into that vending machine because clearly it gets clogged up until it melts in there and all that ice we mined is basically just vaporized um, inside the chutes and we've lost it so um, that's a, an enhancement that also needs to be done right okay um, however not right now let's, let's get on with this shall we I said we'd do the alert system in the control room and uh, it's not really happening is it there's the electrum popping out Turn that off, save gas. Right. I should have just read the numbers rather than just waiting to see what happened, really. There's something not quite right with these. They really are not 
as reliable as I'd like them to be, I might have to put an IC in there to actually store the values and forcibly feed it until it knows they've triggered. Right, okay, we actually should have enough stuff now to make the rest of these. Um, I'll just stick that in my backpack, actually, I'm going in in a minute. Oh, I just want two more of these. So, I've been thinking a bit about the uh, geography of the base, and I think what we'll do from the bottom layer down there is out this way, under here, we'll build a um, the living area, um, so a, a sort of hab area. Um, we've obviously got the control room that side, um, and then this side under here, where we've already got frames, and it also lines up well with a lot of the rest of this equipment, particularly the um, sorters here and the um, machines, is we'll start to build a storeroom, um, which hopefully will make the whole place a lot tidier, and I know some of you uh, have been pleading with me to do that, um, and uh, we will get that done. Um, so uh, that is, whoops, that is definitely on the agenda, but again, we won't get to that this time. Right, let's get on with this. Okay, so as we expand in here, we're also going to have to, to supply much better ventilation systems. We've still got the heat problem in there, and that's in large part because we don't have the um, ventilation we really need. Um, so we will need to run the... Uh, air um, in and out um, into here as well uh, smashed into the wall right what else have we got um, more doors right they'll stack uh, some IC housing and logic chips right okay Actually, probably those can go down into the bottom layer um, the IOs need to go down one layer, so, uh, yeah, no, they'll have to go down one layer, otherwise it's, well, I'm going to look at it. It might be possible to move it down into a proper switch room, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that. And those are definitely going down the bottom. Um, that's coming down one, and I don't know what we're doing with that, so that's going in here for now. Anyway, it's going to be down there. Right. So, this is the connection that we need to sort out. And I, what I'm actually wondering is whether we extend the layer below. I don't know whether we've got anything like the materials down here to do that. That was part of the point, really. We needed to come down and check. That can go up top side when we next go up. Um, right, I don't think we have, actually. No. Okay. Right, so we need to think about this a little bit differently. Um, no, I think we'll do that. I think we'll go down underneath. I think if we built an extension, the next layer down, that's going in there, uh, and we route this red network down there as well, we can probably build a proper switch room, in which case these are going down the bottom. That'd be much tidier. Um, we can keep all of that sort of stuff. I'll, I'll leave that small stack up here because I'm going to need some up here. Um, we'll build all that stuff down here. I need to put some lights in down. Oh, we've got some lights. I need to connect the lights. <laughs> I was like, why, why, why have we got no light down here? Um, let's do that. Let's do that right now so that we can see what we're doing. Where's the light cutters? I put them in here. Right, actually, the other thing we can do is let's just 
get rid of these so that we've got a bit of carrying space. Um, What did I do? I pressed the wrong button. Fat fingers. Right. Uh, hmm. I thought that fitted in there. Okay. That's okay. Yay. Now I can see what I'm doing. That's a big improvement. Right. So what I'm thinking is we'll go through the wall here and we'll build a second room the other side. Um, where we'll put in the um, the network bonding between the two networks. Hydration critical. Um, right, we know we need at least one more in here. It'd be lovely if there was a version of this that didn't have a back on it. I mean, it's never going to go on there, but there are other places where we could use that. But anyway, there we go. Right, we don't need any more of those here. They're going to go in there. So let's just get these out of the lift for now. And that cable coil we're going to need over here. I see housing, logic, right? The logic units are going to go with that. These IC housings offer in here. A few things we want to do. Um, that's going up the top. Those logic IOs are going there. Right, okay. So we've only got one steel sheet down here. One wall. Okay, so we're going to need at least one more wall, although there's some on the level above. We're going to need enough frames to build another room. I'm actually concerned, a little bit concerned. That's full, right? Yeah, although not fully utilised. Whether we're going to have enough space in here. We've only got one, two, three, four more racks. Um, we might have to build a, a wall jutting out that we can then rack both sides of. Um, potentially there and there. Um, hmm. Something to think about. Also need to put something on that ceiling. Right. Um, so first things first actually first things first I've made some updates to the alert system logic um, so really want to do is to implement that on these chips um, so let's let's get that first um, the relatively small updates um, but just making them slightly more efficient. Um, and in the case of the hypervisor, I have removed the need. Oops, I nearly pressed the wrong button. Remove the need for it to have memory chips attached, which will save us some capacity in here, actually. In fact, all of the contents of that are no longer required because um, it's going to write directly to the alarms. So let's just check that seems to be ticking over. And that seems to be fine. OK, good. Yeah, so that can come out and that and that and all of that. So that will actually create more space for us. Um, Power low. I'm going to pull that and just reprogram it because I think I did also make some optimizations on the gas sensors whilst I was in there. So let's make sure that we're using the latest version. Okay, pressure low, I think that's probably reasonable since the external pressure's at 31 kPa. Yeah, fine. 
so we'll have to put up with that going off constantly but at least the system's working um, now what I do want to do um, is actually running around madly what I do want to do is oh we've got one already in place and I want to put in place a diagnostic chip the diagnostic chip allows us to whoops allows us to identify actually what is triggering the alarm so um, Okay, so that's one one six. Okay, right. So let's load up the diagnostic code. Okay, so the way the diagnostic code works, we actually need to connect up to five LEDs to the pins, um, and we need to just give it the routing information. You can use multiple diagnostic chips. Um, it, pin uh, device zero is pointing at the supervisor. So it just reads the code in there. And what it's reading is the routing information and translating that into telling the system to light up a particular LED in a particular color. So 0.16 is the code for the sensor that's currently going off. Um, and I'm going to connect an LED to the first pin of that. Um, Which is why I was just reading that. So you just push those values onto the stack at the start. Um, now we haven't got the LED in place yet. Um, however, um, right. We'll need the need the LED before we can do anything much with it. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to pull that one out, just so we can tell that that's part of that system. I've colour coded it, so we know that all three of those. Maybe I'll move that up there later, but we'll need multiple diagnostic chips anyway. So I'm not too fussed about where that looks at the moment. Right, let's turn that off. So we definitely need to go topside and make some more steel frames and steel sheets. Um, so to make a room this size, we're going to need it's three by three, um, which is probably big enough. So we're going to need nine for the floor, nine for the well, we may need up to nine for the ceiling. Actually, should I don't know we should be fine. I think we'll be, still be under the bit we've already built, but let's assume we need nine more for the ceiling. If we've got spares, we'll be using them later anyway. So that's eighteen. Um, this wall already exists, so then we're just going to need three for the back wall. Um, and obviously this wall here becomes that wall there. So um, three plus another three, so that's another six. So we need 24 frames um, and 48, um, 47 actually, because there's one down here um, still. Right, now I don't think we've got any LED, any light kits down here, have we? No. Uh, actually, I need a second locker kit and then I can make a decent sized locker to store things in while we're building in here. Because um, there's lots of half finished systems and there's likely to be for a little while. So I think I'm going to put the, obviously we put the main um, displays going to go on this wall. I think we're going to put the diagnostic displays along this wall. I'm not quite sure yet how much space they're going to require. Um, not least because I don't know how many of them we're going to have. Um, so anyway, let's go and deal with that. Um, and also my lack of water, which is uh, disturbing me. It really is very hot up here. Okay, that system's definitely working because we heard it switch over there. Warning, temperature high. Danger, danger, warning, temperature Oxygen high. Critical. Oh. Warning, temperature high. Danger, danger, okay. warning, temperature high. Warning, temperature high. Well, the plants, at least in here, still danger. seem to be doing more than okay. Um, pressure low. I'm not even going to clear all that lot for now. <laughs> it just needs a serious tidy up, but. Uh, 
I'm just going to leave that for a minute because otherwise I'm going to get distracted by another job. Um, let's get that in there. Now, because there's a very thin atmosphere on Mars, we can actually still hear that speaker out here. If you're on the moon, we wouldn't be able to hear it at all. But obviously it doesn't carry very far. And if I'm over here, you can still sort of hear it, but not very well. Right, uh, so steel frames, steel sheets. How much steel have we got in here? Uh, oh, loads. Look at that. Zero amounts of steel that we've got in there. Okay, so first thing we're going to need to do is to make more steel again. This rate I'm going to be going mining again. Well, that's a small stack. I'll take it for the generator. Crazy. Probably should have emptied the rest of my backpack. Right, come on, where's the rest of this iron? Don't tell me we've run out. I don't believe that. That's better. Okay, there we go. Oops. Um, that needs to turn on. Okay, that will be fine for now, unless we've got a storm coming, which it doesn't look like we have. Right. We really do have a bit of a, an issue with uh, pressure. Let's see whether or not I can see. Right, I need. I know I need some more um, volatiles imminently. So let's see if I can find some of those, um, and maybe some water ice. Not least because it's going to drive me absolutely bonkers if it carries on warning us about low pressure forever. Uh, I can see lots of things, but none of them. Oh, there's some volatiles. I'd really like to find some nitrice, but I'm not convinced that uh, this world has correctly generated to spawn any. I mean, that should be plenty of those. sign over here looking for some nice greenness which should be really easy to spot on Mars to be honest um, but I think having not seen any when I took the rover out uh, either that means I've really got to travel very very far or there's something in this world seed that's stopping them from spawning um, I kind of would have expected to have seen some by now otherwise honestly this is further in this direction than I think I've travelled so far um, not least because I upgraded my jetpack a little while ago so I'm much faster and I'm not seeing any sign at all um, so I don't think we're going to get lucky with that I think we might have to stick for some normal water um, which obviously has some nitrogen content, but then we've got to wait for it to melt. Um, just not seeing any at all. Okay, I think that's far enough. I'm gonna get lost otherwise. I suppose I've got the tracking beacon, but well, I hope I have. I probably haven't. It's probably on the rover. Um, anyway, this is probably the right direction to go home. 
definitely not seeing anything. Plenty of oxide, but we don't need oxide. There's the antenna of base over there. It may just be that I really need to travel very, very far on this world because it had already generated too many chunks before the uh, update, but... You can see the uh, landscape kind of coming in in front, which tells me I have gone quite a long way from uh, where I've been before. Green, but the wrong kind of green, that's uranium. Spawns, but we can't use, and uh, nitrice, which we could use, but I don't think is going to be spawning. Um, there's a bit of cobalt there, we'll need that soon. No, I don't think this is going to happen, is it? Oh, that's an interesting looking canyon, cave. Why is it this going? Oh, it's not as interesting when you get inside as it looked from the outside. I thought it carried on around that corner. That would have been very cool. Right. Base is over there. Oh, perhaps I have been this way before, because that's a hell of a deep hole. It looks like the sort of thing I would have dug. all the way down to bedrock and they're where we are now this is where we drove when we took the rover out right okay so we've ended up back in the same place we've just kind of flown around in a giant circle okay well we didn't see any when we came out then and I'm not seeing any now so um, I guess we'll head home it's getting dark anyway it's probably not the best time to be out roaming but uh, at least that gets us a little bit Uh, of volatiles at least, which is helpful. I mean, perhaps we'll just go crazy and take more. moment it looks slightly green to me I was like oh we found some but no it was not to be yeah we've flown around in a gigantic circle around that big hill Okay, well, at least this will solve one of our problems anyway. steel yet. Uh, where's the other one gone then? The point of this is supposed to be that I can set it up and oh it's just blocked out in a single block that's why I was expecting two stacks of 200 but it's one 400. Okay that's fine that can go in here that may as well start doing that whilst we're melting ice we've still got to make quite a lot of uh, frames so um, get going. Nicely charged, anyway. OK, 
Okay, right, let's deal with that anyway. That's one one less problem. Right, while I'm out here. Oh, I didn't put that flog rating back down. There we go. Um, right, whilst I'm out here, I'm just thinking about how we will need to connect. I think we'll try and bring them through along here somewhere. I don't want to bring them right up against this piece of wall, but I think we'll try and run them down that corner. Not that we're going to have to put them both next to each other anyway, are we? So, okay, I'm not getting involved in that. That's another job, but since we had a spare bit of pipe got some there as well actually let's just lay that in I'm just looking really for little uh, jobs that are moving us in the right direction that I can be getting on with whilst we're waiting for those frames to build right so the reason I'm doing this is that we know that what we will want to do is to extend the atmosphere processing system that will help us sort out some of the heat problems in there um, when we do I'm going to move that regulator and put it onto this piece here um, because I want that to feed these the idea is that if you had all the doors shut internally each area maybe not each individual room but each area will have its own atmosphere recycling system um, that's where we want to get to. That really is staying very hot for a long time. Um, if we needed anything else, I'd be inclined to make it in there, but we don't particularly. Um, the only thing that does occur to me is uh, whether we could very quickly go and try and grab a bit of silicon, because when you melt silicon, it gives off nitrogen, which we know we need. Um, it's worth a little look, isn't it? While we're actually before I go flying off miles, let's just check how many of these we've got. We're at 24. Okay, so that's fine. That's actually where we wanted to get to with those. We're at 25 now because I was too slow and about to be 26. So, okay, probably just as well I checked. Let's uh, okay. Let, let's not go off and deal with that. Um, let's get the steel sheets made. Get on with the job we started. Not too fast. We've got a few spares there. It's not like we're not going to need them soon enough. See, I'm, I'd be very interested in buying some more, but uh, since we know that the traders are scam merchants who don't sell us nitrogen, they actually sell us explosives, overpressured containers that cause all sorts of mayhem. I, I can't even do that. Right, um, this is taking a little while, isn't it? I feel like there's probably something else I could be usefully doing in the meantime. Um, but I'm not quite sure what that would be. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Oh, that light is still going. That's okay. Um, right, have we got any more pieces in here? Right, plastic sheets. Let's stack that with what we've got. Probably will want that actually at some point. Um, oh, there's still sheets there as well. Perfect. Let's throw that in there. We've just about got enough, I think. 49, I said. 49 we've got. I oh, know 49 we've got, including the one that's in there. Well, we've, we've got 26, so actually we don't need 49, we actually need, that's it, that'll do. We need 51, which of course is a 50 stack and a 1 stack, because it would be. Uh, right, okay, I think that's everything we need up here. I'll flick that off. That's a safety, I think.
Danger. Danger. Let's see, I've managed to damage my lungs again. Must be careful with that. Right. Those can both go down there. Do the paint. Oh, there's the paint. Well, that's iron walls. Okay. I still forgot to make another locker as well. Damn. Right, let's just let some more heat through there. I need to try and disperse this heat somehow. Ah. <laughs> I forgot to uh, change my battery, didn't I? I better go and deal with that. Okay, I think that's as good as that's going to get. Whoops. I do wonder whether we need to actually just put some active cooling in that atrium. I think we do. It's really getting too hot. Um, and it's just not cooling down. At least that way it will be starting to cool down whilst we're working out here. Heater and a cooler. Um, and we need. Um, oops, not dial. We do need a dial, but we need a switch to make the dial. And we need a sensor kit. We've got a sensor kit somewhere, actually, haven't we? Is it in my backpack? Perfect. Uh, no, I was going to use that elsewhere. Uh, no, that's fine. I was going to use that as a. That's fine. Right. Multi purpose. Um, right, we've got an IC in the, and an IC housing in there. So, what I now need to do is just build the outside piece. So, we need some pipes. It's going to build a very basic radiator array again. Um, again, a longer term project. Oh, we've got a storm incoming. Um, a longer term project will be to build a central cooling system where we actually take all the uh, stuff from the side of the wall, wall coolers and uh, strip out all the heat. Um, but I'm not going to do that now, especially if I know there's a storm incoming, because um, I want to get this up and running ASAP, really. Um, steel. Luckily we have some steel. So it's just inject. That's going to be this. Oh, solder. Okay. No. How long have we got? It's okay. Plenty of time. Um, so, right. Uh, of course we've got everything, haven't we? Except for the... Th and electrum. And again and steel. Close that. Oh, I've obviously set that to 40 by accident at some point. <laughs> oh well. Okay, rather than 
outstanding waiting time is against us. Right, I think I'm going to put a wall cooler onto here somewhere, so let's... Uh, space here so that's nice. Um, right we'll want a um, filling tank um, and we'll want a load of radiators. Okay it's a bit asymmetric but that's fine. That's enough of those, thank you very much. space. Right, okay, never mind. Let's just get this on. Time is not on our side. Oh, actually. There we go, right. store those and fill that. That should be enough. Right. Um, anything else we need from here? I don't think so. Right. Um, may as well empty my. I probably could have dumped that in there actually. That would have been smart. It'd give me a bit of extra pressure. I'll do that, but I will top up my oxygen. Oops. Yeah, that's very critical when you drop it on the floor as well. Okay, there we go. Give us a bit more CO2 in there. Oh yeah, that's good, that's 50% more. Okay, right, that should do the job. Okay. Convenient place to reach the thermostat, is it? I wonder if there's anywhere else we could put one. Mm, don't really want to stick in the middle of the window either. Okay, we'll put it up there for now, we can always move it later. 
not that we're exactly likely to want to change the thermostat that often, but... Right. best label what these are otherwise we'll never know um. whoops okay now we need to just set this up right One is our target temperature. And then drop down. Um, now, of course, all the IC chips are down here, aren't they? Just need one to set it up as a. Um, whoops. Why? Probably not. Just make sure we don't uh, blow anything up. Probably the least wiring. where you want to play. Get there in a minute. Okay, so let's turn that on, let that generate an error. So it's labelled up all the devices. So that gas sensor we're going to point at. Sensor atrium heater. We're going to point it out. I'm just going to go quicker this way. Wall we'll heater atrium. Wall we'll cooler atrium. Thermostat atrium. There we go. Right, so now we've got some in independent, at least temperature control in here. Um, hopefully, that will start to bring that temperature down because 72 really is it's just stupidly hot. Um, we need to get that under control. Um, now obviously the other thing we'll do once we sort out these um, 
logic mirrors downstairs is we'll connect that there's the storm um, we'll connect that um, sensor up there into the alert system as well um, but one thing at a time I forgot to build lights that was what I forgot lights and a locker all the L's I'll try and remember it next time I'll probably forget you can remind me in the comments that I forgot um, right okay so let's open this one up through the hab again but hopefully not um, drill that's what we're doing next we're drilling I mean at least at this level we're very deep so unless we hit a cave we should be fine but it always feels a bit like famous last words This way I'll hit the uh, floor that I put in last episode. I think. It's slightly, slightly difficult to navigate underground. Oh, these last bits of rock that won't get cleaned up do irritate me though. I mean, I'm going to clad all this eventually, but in the meantime it just looks bad. Right, how are we looking? Okay, that's not bad. Um, So actually, that's as far back as I think I want to go. Is that right? Yeah. And of course, I've used far fewer than I'd made because, as expected, some of these are already filled. But it's better to have it that way around than the other way. Okay, at least we're not doing such horrible things to the temperature now. Low. That's the downside of these electric welders, but I think it's worth it. Come on. Right. That's going to run out before. 
before we finish this. pressed it twice before it disappeared but I didn't. Right that gets that out of the way. Okay let's see how much more we can weld before the power runs out. I reckon maybe we'll get one more frame out of it, maybe not. Oh. Bonus, I got two. Okay and then I think we can put the frames on the back there. some in a minute for the side. Right, we're never going to get these all welded. Oh, nearly finished that one. All right, well, I'll take that. That was okay. Right, actually, let's leave them there because we're going to be building a room there. Um, right, we'll need a door. and hang on to those because we're going to use a lot more of them yet um, right and then we need, need some water is what I need let's grab the other one of those and stack it with these then they're all in the same place a welder so can't finish the door yet Although actually let's save some carrying capacity and drop that down there likewise we may move it later but let's at least stick that up Power low. preferably in a configuration where I can see the settings when I need them Right, that saves a bit of backpack space and actually the rest of these are going in here so I'll drop them down there. Right, so what we need to do is to figure out whether we can get or how we can get the red cabling down here. Um, so I'm going to start by trying to work out That frame must be here, I think. That would be right. Okay, so let's open that up. This looks like the ideal place to drop it down. Yeah, there we go, look at that. I'm gonna send that up to the top so that the coal doesn't just roll around if we get air currents. Um, Help low. Right, yeah, I'm going to have to deal with that quite soon, aren't I? Okay, so what I actually want to do is to run that down inside these frames here. OK, 
Okay, so that's the red network connected. Let's take the quick way down. Perfect, so that's the main where it comes in. And then what we can do is set up our... Uh, right, hang on, I'm not sure if I'm going to need that in a minute, so I'm just going to chuck that in there. There's the purple cable, there it is. So now we need to run the purple cable. A few different ways we could do that. I think the simplest is just going to be go straight through the wall. has the advantage that that way the purple comes in at the bottom and the red at the top so uh, hopefully makes it easier when we send it back out again hopefully we'll see um, actually there's a way to check because there is a configuration on these chips that is easier let me just uh, throw one up logic mirror okay so we need to power them from either the top or the bottom doesn't really matter. It's basically the left-right configuration so actually what we'll do with each frame is we'll run the red down from the top on the left and we'll run the purple down to the bottom on the right. That will, that will give us what we need. Um, and we can power them wherever. Um, the trick with these is although it's it's uh, tempting to go oh we could stack them like that is actually not to because um, it causes chaos um, the problem will be you can't get two behind a roll cover like this because the input of one and the output of the other so yeah, we could possibly do something fancy like this actually this could work and then we'll run the purple cable down the middle yeah, that could work. Right, however, in the meantime, I think that's exactly this, the one uh, which I'll be taking out. And I put it down the middle. Right, okay, that's fine. So we're going to take this one out. Which obviously I do not currently have the uh, battery to re weld, but. So I just taken out the wrong one. Can I just not see it coming through? I oh, know it's there. That's fine. Hunger critical. There we go. So we can run this along the bottom, and then up here. This one along the top. Uh, we'll have to power that one from the underneath, from the purple network. Okay, it's not the end of the world. Right, I've got lots of things to sort out in a minute. I'm going to die otherwise, but I'm just trying to finish this. Uh, let's put that just across ways like that, because I'm not actually sure where we're going to want that. There we go. That is actually a set of logic mirrors set up and ready to go. Um, right, now I think we just need to get top side, sort myself out. OK, 
Okay, well, actually, first things first, I've got water. Let's drink that. And I've got food. Okay, food back in there. Water needs refilling. Right, the temperature's down to a mere 70 degrees, so we've managed to make two whole degrees difference. It's hot in here now as well. Warning, temperature high. Danger, danger. Warning, pressure low. Warning, pressure low. Okay. Danger. Wow. Warning, um, pressure low. Warning. Right, I now need to change the battery in that welder. Probably in my suit as well, but we'll do the welder first. Warning, pressure low. I'm gonna make another large battery because we're gonna get through them, I think. That can go in there. Right, large battery. In fact, let's make a couple of them whilst we're here. Oh, not nuclear, although that would be lovely. We cannot yet do that. Copper. Come on, give me some copper. Now I've got too much, but never mind. than what I've got in here. Yeah, okay, so that's at least one less warning. Right. Just get a new suit as well. It's got a little bit of damage on this one. It's not terrible, but whilst I'm here and thinking about it, it's the kind of task I keep thinking I must remember to do. Come on. Okay, right. Okay, so if I long, long press one, it just switches what's in my hand for slot one, which is my helmet. That's nice and easy. Throw that in there. Um, right, now this one not so much because what I need to do is open it up and... Air tank critical. Waste tank critical. Do that Filter and then critical. long press Power 2, critical. which is my current Waste setting for my suit. Caution. There we go, in it goes. Into there, chew it up, spit it out. There we go, good. Right, okay, at least that's that done. Right. Warning. Are these charged yet? Warning. No, they can take a while. I'm going to just go in with that. It's just obviously my suit is only at 55. Uh, oh, that one's above 55 now. No, that's full. Perfect. Look at that. You see, very efficient. More by luck than judgment, as usual. Okay, let's get inside and get the uh, network room functioning. Still forgot the lights. Still forgot the lockers. Okay, 66. It's, it is getting there now. The cooler's having to work extremely hard, but it is gradually working. 
Right, so um, let's get downstairs. So, first things first, let's re weld these. Okay, I think that's everything where we've got one. There's still some frames to put in though. So we need a frame up there, and we will need frames inside that wall. No, I'm not going to get any closer to that until I do the rest of the mining, am I? Okay, now let's do that then. bit of free iron here anyway. Always useful. As long as I don't end up panelling it up inside the wall. Right, so that's the back wall there. We'll continue the corridor. We'll probably want other things down here. I may use the uh, rest of the corridor down here to um, run pipes and cables for other stuff down here. Um, it's obviously a really neat way of doing it. Oh, I didn't seal that bit of floor. I thought I had. But it just was one of these that just got unmined stuff on it. Right, that's better. see from the way this is deforming why it can be quite difficult when you've got a sealed frame to get the last bits of rock mined out. Right, okay. Let's try and uh, let's close this up. Do that for now. We can open those if we need them. Ah, oh, one too many. One too few even. No, not even one actually. I'm three three too few. Okay, I need to prioritise this room because I need to actually close this up. Oops, grab that before it flips out. Yeah, I need a roof in here. Um sure how that happened because I thought I had actually got too many um, but then I turned out I didn't. Did that coal come out? No it didn't, oh well. Never mind. We'll live. Same with that iron to be honest we could have it but see how fast this thing eats battery. least enough to be able to yeah, no there are no more oh well let's do that side at least Right. 
Okay, it's the start. Right, I can also weld that door, at least to the next level of construction. We need some glass down here, but... Okay, so these logic mirrors we can start to set up now to um, mirror things from the red network so that they become accessible on the data network. So what we really want on here is those two gas sensors. That's the first thing. So we'll take the atrium and the greenhouse. Flip them on and whoops, label them. Of course, we've got one upstairs that's called, but we're going to take that out in a minute. Gas sensor greenhouse. Okay, so we'll leave those for um, future expansion, but the principle is good. I don't know how many of these we'll need, which is why I've built quite a big room. Um, experience tells me that uh, as you progress, you find yourself needing far more than you originally planned for, um, and they're not very compact things, unfortunately. Um, right, that's not ready to turn on yet, however... That one is the greenhouse alert. So currently that's set to Let's switch that. We should continue to get warning pressure low. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's actually set. Right, okay. That's interesting. Set that one to the atrium. And actually, because of the way it prioritises these signals, I want to do that the other way around, because the greenhouse is more important to me if there's problems and kills my plants than the atrium. So I'm going to switch that around. Because it will prioritise, if everything is exactly equal, which they will be right now, it will prioritise the highest number pin. Um, if you haven't already, it's worth watching the architectural presentation on the alert system. Um, so I would definitely recommend you do that. In fact, I'm going to pause the game now so you can go and do that. Good. OK, welcome back. I'm glad you enjoyed watching that. Um, so um, hopefully now you understand how all of this works. Um, so this obviously uh, alert monitor here is now monitoring um, two gas sensors. Um, and um, then the supervisor here is picking that up and uh, and it's identifying that that pin on that chip is the uh, one that's triggering the warning uh, this is then sending out the warning to the sirens and when I turn this on in a bit um, this is going to connect to um, that will be the greenhouse sensor and actually I'm going to connect this one when we get to it um, to the atrium sensor so I'm going to call that one one so actually if I Port that and edit. Um, we're going to connect the next one to 1-1. One, one. So when this is turned on, um, we'll connect this one to the LED that maps to that device, and this one to the LED that maps to that device. Um, but I haven't got the LEDs yet, so I need to go do that. Um, okay, we need some glass. We need lockers, we need lights. Okay, let's uh, go do. Okay, waste tank critical. Well, um, as a couple of viewers have suggested, there is a little bit of pressure available in here. Um, it's not going to make much difference. So let's look at the external 26 kPa. Pressure high. 28. So it's a little bit, it helps. Every little bit is contributing. The good news is the temperature in here is down to only 62, so we are gradually getting the uh, overheat under control, which is important. Um, warning, warning, 
I'm just going to let the temperatures equalize a little bit so that this cooler is doing a bit more work as well. Um, that should do it. Right. Okay, I don't think we're going to get the control room finished in this episode. I was hoping we would, but um, we will get some progress made, certainly. Um, so we need lights. Um, whoops. Probably going to need quite a few lights. Um, let that run for a minute. We need a locker. And we need some glass. Which we're going to need silicon for. Um, silicon. Is it going to trigger? There it is. I think that'll do. Ten lights. Keep us going for a little while. think how many glass sheets we'll need because we've also got some consoles down there so I think I might make a few Let's stick that in there for now right and we also need um, a wall to finish closing in that new room and we need some more steel sheets for the rest of that welding work sure how many. Um, actually we've got these two frames missing as well haven't we so um, we're going to need six I think if I can count. Okay, so hopefully we can get this lot up and running um, whilst we're here. Let's just switch out this battery since we're burning through at quite a rate. And that battery. Right, we are actually starting to get on top of the temperature slightly now. It's definitely coming down each time. Whoops. through here. Hopefully remember to take them with me next time. Just gives a bit more time for those atmospheres to mix as well and just uh, transfer a bit of heat from here into uh, this side. And then obviously this cooler can do some more work. Yeah, it's 39. That'll do. Which best shut that. I don't want to risk killing the greenhouse. Okay, let's go. So the other thing obviously that's not connected yet is the uh, weather, the storm warning, um, but we can do that now. We've got that logic mirror um, set up in place. Right, those are all things to go down to the bottom, which is why I threw them that way. 
Let's see, there is some organisation to my madness sometimes, just not that often. Um, that goes there and there. Right, this is a bit of a temporary setup, but we'll just stick a temporary locker in here so we've got somewhere to put these things that we don't yet need. Take that one out. Grab some wire back. Oops. because I need purple wire up here. That's a bit silly. Right, there we go. There is a reason for this, I promise. Uh, right, we're going to put the LED warning lights. We'll start on that frame in the middle. We'll probably have to spread in both directions longer term, but for now, let's... Uh, don't think we've got even anywhere near enough, but... Oh! Warning. Cannot pressure get in the right low. place. Warning. Pressure low. No. Warning. Warning. Okay, well, let's Warning. start. Pressure low. Right, we've still got to sort these out as well, of course, but that's, again, a, another job for another time. Um, low. Well, I think what, what we got to last time was that gas display consoles, although they're very nice, don't respect um, logic mirrors and therefore we won't be using them down here, we'll have to use simple LED displays. Right. Okay, so these are going to be the um, indicator LEDs. Um, now, there's a few different ways we could mount these. We go one, two, three across there, and then we'd need to leave and have three along the bottom here. Or we could go one, two, three, and similarly, one, two, three. Um, I think I fancy a vertical configuration just for a change. And in fact, if I'm smart, I'll do this, because that means we can connect that there. Okay, and then we'll keep this one, because I need a light for downstairs. Oh, got stuck in the doors. Could have been painful. I didn't realise I hadn't welded that one. Okay, so basically I can't count at all. Never mind, let's finish one job at a time. Close those in. That's all done. So at least make that so we can walk on it. Next up, let's finish that wall. Okay, good. Now, how much cable have I got left? Actually, nowhere near enough, amazingly. Somehow I need to power those doors and that light. And 
And these need to go up the top because I need them. Let's put them in there for now. Uh, logic IOs are coming through here. Right, uh, so we're going to try and just get some power. I guess logically the way to do this is to use it's not even going to fit, is it? We're going to run out of cable. Three, four. We might make it. Oh, I thought I'd got that. I thought I'd gone far enough. Right, come on, one more corner. Oh. Okay, at least now we can see what we're doing. Right. just going to need more cable. I don't think there's any two ways about this. Uh, right, okay, the next most important thing to do actually is to actually get this LED, these pair of LEDs connected. Um, so let's do that. Then we can figure out if we can connect everything else up. Right, okay, so this is going to be um, greenhouse gas. This is going to be yttrium gas. Um, we can come up with some better layouts later, but that will do for now. I always like the idea of if there was a way to draw a schematic on the wall and be able to show the exact areas that were uh, a problem, but I'm not sure we could quite do that. Right, let's see whether or not we've got enough wire to make this happen. So let's start with. Uh, Coming out from there. It's going to be close. We're either going to nearly have enough or just not quite have enough. Oh, perfect. There we go. Right, now we've got functional door. That also helps. Um, Alright, so roll covers on there and on there. A bit of tidying up to do with the drill at the top there. Oh, don't be like this. All right, I'm actually going to have to open that wall up to clean that up properly. It's really annoying. Never mind. For now, that's progress. It seems to be the ceilings are worse than the floors for some reason. Anyway, right. Okay, I think that's as good as it's going to get for now. That's coming up. Hydration critical. Oh, there's two stacks, I didn't realise that. Right, those uh, mirrors can stay in there for now. Oh, what I want to do while I'm here is to set up a mirror. If I can, to set up a mirror for the no other readable devices on the network. Okay. I was going to set up the weather, but I guess we'll use the transmitter for that. We'll, we'll uh, slave this one. So that's the battery charge, so that's already set up. Oh, that's the weather. The weather's already running. Okay, so I actually just need to put the chips in place. Okay, 
Oh, ahead of myself. Right. That one's full. Right, okay. So let's do that while we're down here. Um, so we're going to put the rest, or not the rest, but some more alert system in. So we're going to, let's load up the weather one. And confirm and export. Um, okay, we can rewire this a bit now. We don't need those memory chips. Where's the drill? There's the drill. That's why. Uh, no, that was the batch writer I didn't need, wasn't it? Okay, I'm sure we'll have plenty of use of those later. However, for now, it gives us a bit of space. Not, not the tidiest, is it? Um, right, we can put one in there anyway. Get the rest of the alert system up and running at least, I hope. Now, perhaps not. So I think that's wanting to connect directly to the weather station, um, which we should be able to mirror. Ah, but the weather station's on a different network. Okay, that's why that's not working yet. Um, I suspect we'll have the same problem with the power, uh, power logic that just needs to be modified to pick up from the transmitter rather than from the um, direct device. So let's have a quick look. Um, incorrect logic at line 10. Yeah, okay, so we're only passing the setting which is this next weather event time we're not actually setting passing the mode so we could modify this code it won't know when it's in progress is the only thing um, I think that's good enough I think I'd rather have some warning than none um, so I think I'm gonna do that I think I'm just gonna modify that to say load whoops oh, R1 T0 and it's setting because it's coming from the transmitter. Um, I think it'll be obvious if there's a storm in progress. Uh, I think that will work. But apparently I think wrong. Logic receiver weather. Logic receiver weather. Okay, so that. Oh, did I? I think I just did, updated it and then didn't hit the export button. I seem to have suddenly started doing that. That's very irritating. Well, that's now running fine. Um, well, I think it's running fine. 218. Did it actually, where are we outputting the setting? R3. Okay. Well, we'll find out, won't we? I'll hook it up to the main system and uh, and then we'll find out. So, where's the supervisor? That's the supervisor. So let's, um, let's just turn that off for a minute while we make the change. Spare slot. That's got no device on it. That will do. I see how 
diagnosing weather. Okay, so you can see it's cycling between the two values. What I'm not sure about is whether this is actually correctly reporting. So we're going to need to go up anyway and just find out is there actually a storm. I don't think there is. Um, so I suspect it's not quite working as, uh, as intended. But you can hear it saying warning storm incoming. So maybe it is. Where's the other one gone? There it is. Yeah, that's not reporting correctly because there is not a storm incoming, so it's not that's not picking up as it needs to yet. So that logic was originally designed to connect directly to the weather system Warning. and obviously it's not Warning. doing that Storm. Incoming. Um, which means it's picking up the wrong value Storm. Incoming. Um, I think Warning. I know why Warning. Pressure low. so I'm going to go and deal with that Warning. I'll just let that temperature Pressure sort itself out a bit it's, it's only, only 45 in here now alright we're gradually getting there and then we're going to just configure the LED warning lights um, just check I'm pulling the right one, yes okay so I think the problem is it's designed to pick up the mode um, into R0 but it's never getting a mode um, so I think we will have to fake that by saying if the next weather event time is greater than zero then we're going to set the mode as if it was zero um, sorry set the mode to one so um, so we're going to say set the R0 is the right register for mode yes so if R1 is greater than zero I think I think that will have the desired effect um, because the way the modes work on the weather sensor is one means incoming storm, zero means no storm, which is right. That's now working now, look. Let's close that, we don't need that one open. So we can see that's now reporting a zero, and that's just the pressure low, which we had before. Right, I'm not taking these upstairs. Um, let's put those down over there. Right, okay. Oh, I should have used the same sort of door. I'll come back and do that later, never mind. Right. Oof. What the hell? Uh, oh, the power's... Uh, that doesn't look too good. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. 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 Yeah, all the, all the power's flicking on and off. Okay, right, we need to investigate that. That might indicate that we've got a problem with power at the top. Right, okay, so I have actually renamed those. I should have just gone and fixed that downstairs. But I think I need to figure out what's going on here first. Um, it's only the internal power. Okay, so I think what's happening is as the coolers are trying to run, it's probably sapping too much power. But you can see everything internally is flickering on and off, so we are actually going to probably have to switch this to, to use multiple networks. Oh no, we're out of power out there. Warning. Warning. Low. Right, let's get out of here before this battery runs down and we get trapped. Okay, 
so what's happened is that this has run out. Yeah, we really need to sort out the uh, sustainability. That was what was happening. Okay. Right. We need to get this hooked up as well, don't we, as an extra bit of warning system. I'm just conscious that we're nearly at two hours now. However, um, we have made some quite good progress. Um, but we will have to uh, call it a day shortly, because uh, otherwise it becomes unwatchably long. Um, let's throw those in there for now. Right. So the battery system is set up and it is reporting. Okay. Let's see if we can... Uh, Warning. Pressure low. Oh, I can't be bothered to wait. We've got things to do. Uh, right. Okay, so um, what we need to do now is we just need to configure the diagnostic system. So this is pointing at the supervisor, so we're now going to point this one at the right LED. Uh, never sure which way to go through the alphabet for something like an LED. So greenhouse gas and atrium gas in that order. And then we're going to flick that one. That's always a good start, isn't it? Ah, oh, why is that set there? That's why that's crashed. These need to be set to either LEDs or nothing, otherwise it will try and write out to them. So that's the first problem. No, that hasn't helped though, has it? Okay, what's going on there? Oops. Import, edit. Line 49, what are we doing? We're trying to send the colour to the device. Okay, that's fine. I think it just needed to reset. I think it was trying to send a colour code to the uh, power sensor, which was obviously not going to work. Right, we have actually got space there. Probably could have put the diagnostic at the top. That would have been tidier, but... Let's do it. Let's do it quickly. Uh, where's the supervisor? Why can't I see? I'm going daft. I see housing alert supervisor. There we go. That's why. Right. LED atrium greenhouse. LED atrium go. Go greenhouse gas. Right. Okay. That's fine. Let's do that. Let's tidy that up a bit. There's a reason for this, I promise. Um, right, okay, let's um, see whether or not we can get this to work. Um, this may not work without being connected directly to the battery as well, but um, let us load it and find out. Uh, oh, that should work. That should work. It looks hopeful at least. And then we'll set this one. Okay, so um, learning point is that the video apparently cuts off at two hours, um, which is um, good to know, but hopefully I won't be making any quite as long as this again. Right, so I finished programming that chip, um, and um, I'm just very quickly going to finish off by going upstairs. Um, we'll close that, um, and we'll go upstairs. Um, 
So that's now picking up the battery. Um, I've connected up the supervisor. Hopefully that got caught on the end. Um, and you can see this is the basics of the control room. It's ugly as hell and we'll clean it up next time. But here are the diagnostic LEDs. So we can see the pressure low is coming from the greenhouse, um, which is good to know because now we know where the problem is as well as what the problem is. Obviously lots of slots here to connect up more later um, and we'll try and do that next time. Um, for now, we can see the power display. Um, I really have to replace these. It's such a shame we can't use these on logic mirrors, but um, you can see the logic mirrors are and receivers are all greyed out, so not an option. Um, I'll have to make some uglier displays using uh, this style, but there we go. That's how it is. Anyway, I'm going to call that a day because that has gone over two hours, and I now have to splice together this video with the last bit. Um, I hope you found that uh, useful and interesting. Um, and uh, if you've enjoyed it, please do uh, do subscribe. And uh, hopefully you can see I do try to reply to uh, comments and questions on the channel as quickly as I can as well. So I um, hope you've enjoyed it and I hope to see you on the next one. I'm sorry this was actually such a ridiculously long episode. I'll try to keep them a little bit shorter in future.